happy people i'm back with another video and today i have more nail sticker organization i have all of these nail stickers here that i want to organize so i have two packs of these and then i also have these um and these are like these small little like small little rectangular sheets here um and so I originally was going to put them in my photo album that wasn't working out. I found a better storage option, which is the baseball card um, slot organizer. So that's how I'm going to organize all of these. I'm going to like take one of them out here and show you guys. So that's what it looks like. And it has um, three, six, nine slots on it. And so I like it because I'll be able to fit all of the stickers on multiple of the stick, nine of the stickers on one side nine on the other so 18 on this one sheet and i like it because i'll be able to see everything at a glance so i also got this binder here this is how i plan to store it for now it's just a cheapy binder that i got from walmart and i did already kind of start the process um so as you all can see that's kind of how i was looking i apologize for the glare here but um yeah that's how i'm planning to do it so it doesn't so one of the difficult things with this is that like you could see through um the stickers so because they're see-through if i put two of the stickers back to back you'd be able to you wouldn't really be able to see the design too well so i do have like these little white pieces of cardboard that these white pieces that i cut and to fit this slot and so i'm going to show you all how i do that so i'm going to take this out here And so what I use for this is, so I'm, I'm weird you guys. I don't like to throw stuff away because I always feel like I can repurpose it for something else. And so all of the rhinestones that I got from Dollar Tree, they came in these, um, they came in this packaging here. And so I was looking at the packaging and I was like, oh, I like the fact that it has like the white background to it. So here and here it's like all white. So that's honestly what I used for that's what I used for this here. I just kind of cut it out to fit the slot. So that's what I'm going to go through and do. Um, and so you guys, yeah, when you have your items, just try to keep some old packaging sometimes because you can always maybe repurpose it for something else. So I'm going to go through and just get all these cardboards out and go ahead and start trying to cut them to size. Okay. So I think this would be enough for now. If I need more, I'll come back and cut more. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is just take one of these out. So I'm gonna just take this one out here and I'll use this as my model for cutting. So yeah, you see here but below the, the um, so right here below the barcode, I can get a square out and then right above it, I'll cut some stuff out. So what I'm gonna do is line a few of these up so I don't have to spend too much time cutting. Maybe I'll do like two at a time. Should I do three at a time? I'll do three at a time. No, I'll do two at a time. Okay, so like this. And then what I'll do is, like I said, I'm gonna line it up here and then cut. like that and I'll come through and cut the top here and then I have my little cards here so I'm gonna go through and do that and I'll be right back Okay, so these are all the cards I'm gonna be inserting into those slots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. And these, I know y'all, I could just throw them away. Well, likely I might repurpose them for something. Like, so for instance, this, if you all don't have anywhere to like display your nails, you could find some double-sided tape and like use this for like a nail display. Same thing with these little small pieces. So I know it's weird, I don't throw stuff away, but yeah, you can always find a use for something later. So I will keep these little scrap pieces and see what I might be able to, how I might be able to put them to use later on. So back to this little slot thing, Majig. So, I think I started inserting them all on this side here. Yeah, I did. So all I'm gonna do is go through, put them in the slots, 
and then we'll start organizing our stickers. All right, so that's that. So now I'll be able to see both sides of my stickers, okay? So I will go ahead and kind of fill the slots for the other sheet. So I have this bubblegum container here full of stickers. With these stickers, I want to be able to see everything at a glance. So I'm going to take everything out here and kind of sort them by categories, I guess. Um, but with this container here really quick, so these drill bits like this, this is just a random little hack too. All you have to do is slide it right into here, like so. And it's a perfect way to store your drill bits. So obviously as you get more drill bits, it'll fill it up and so it won't tip over. But I thought this was an awesome hack. So yeah, this is a, a random FYI. If you all want a way to store your drill bits without having to take them out of the little plastic, plastic storage, yeah, I thought this was a great little hack. So that's just an FYI too. So all right, now let's get to sorting these stickers. I'm probably, oh, this is pretty. Wow, look at this. That's cute, it has a little saying on it. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is get to sorting. So I'm just gonna kinda take all of these stickers out and sort them by the different categories. I'm gonna play some music and just kinda let you all watch me sort. Okay, so I guess I'll kind of talk you through it a little bit here. Um, so these are just kind of like random like accent thingies that I feel like I can put on a nail. These are like sweet treats. Um, these have teddy bears in them, so I'll kind of make a category for that. Um, again, these are like the random accents you can put on the nails. These are fruit. So the fruit and the, the desserts I might end up putting together, like maybe things you can eat to put on the nails. I might put those together, but for now I'll keep them separate. These are like wedding nails. Here are some more animals. Um, so with the animals, I'll probably put those with the teddy bears. And so that's just kind of like my, my thought process here as I'm organizing. There's more sweet treats here, so I'll put that right here. This is one that has like different frames on it. So for the frames, I'm gonna create another section here, right here. More frames. We got some with butterflies on them, so I'll make a separate category for butterflies. Um, and then this one has flowers on it, so I'll make a category for flowers. So that's kind of my thought process here as I'm organizing, and I'll go through and just kind of sort everything. Here's some lips, so these are kind of like Valentine's Day, love themed. That might actually be able to go here. More lips. I'm gonna stop here for now. So I have these gold stickers too, but I think I'm gonna separate the gold and have them by themselves because these are more so like the colorful type stickers. So I think I'm gonna do these separate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here for now. And then go from there, okay? So in each of these categories, so I have all these separated out by categories. Sorry if there's a glare, I don't know how to fix that. But we have, um, this is like random accents, um, stickers that have animals on them, kind of love themed, butterflies, um, more love. I'll probably end up putting these together with that. Flowers, fruits, and sweets. And then these are the ones that have frames on them. So from this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to sort it in here. I did, had, I started this one already. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take these out. So 
so I can go ahead and organize the colorful ones here. So it's 18 to a sheet, right? So nine on the front, nine on the back. So I'm thinking I wanna do, let's see. I'm gonna do the accent nails, the accent ones, and combine those with the flower ones because there's not a lot of flowers. So I'm gonna do that. And maybe on the back, if there's space, I will do the bows and the frames yeah so i'm gonna do the, the 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 accents the frames and the flowers on one side we'll see if it all fits so let's see here just set this here like that i'm gonna probably do that like this oh actually there's enough for it to go on one sheet so let's take this off Oh, these are actually the same. Huh, okay. Yeah, so a lot of these are doubles, so I'm gonna just put these together. Okay, I'm satisfied with how this looks. There's nothing really calling my name to put right here, so I'm gonna leave it blank. Um, on this side, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the butterfly stickers since there's a significant amount of them. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and sort them because I, I think these have duplicates. So whichever ones have duplicates, I'll just put them together. So for instance, these two. So these are the butterflies. Again, nothing's calling my name to put this here, to put here, so I'm gonna leave it blank. So that is this first sheet all done. Now I'm gonna move on to the next one here. So yeah, these are all the animals here, or things that have animals on it. Nothing else is speaking to me to add here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and go ahead and start with, um, I think I wanna start with, I mean, I could add the treats there, but. So I think next I'm gonna go ahead and do the, like the fruit pieces, stuff that has food on it. So I'm gonna start with like the cupcake stuff up, the, up top here. And some of these are doubles, so I'm gonna combine the doubles. So for instance, did, oh no, they're not doubles, I thought they were. Okay, no, all of them have their own thing. Cool. Okay, so these are all my fruits and cupcake looking items. I have all of my heart, all my animal, and a couple of frames here. And so that's good for this sheet. I am gonna go ahead and start another one. Okay, so now this one is all ready to go. So I think I wanna go in with the love theme items now. And let's see if we can fit to a page. Okay, so just gonna take everything out and see what we got here. Oops, okay, so I think so. This has flowers on it. This is more love thing too.
So because these have flowers here, and then there's kind of flowers on this one and on this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add that over here. Yeah, stay kind of florally too. So I'm gonna add this here. And add this one here. Okay. And then these are kind of like all wedding themed. So I'm gonna put all the wedding themed ones here at the top. And actually this one has a puppy on it. So because it has a puppy on it, I'm gonna put it over here with the animal themed items. And so I wanna put it right here though. And so do like this, this, this. So this works for me. Okay, so now these are all animals. We got some floral stuff here and then frames back to floral. So that works for me. So then I filled that page up. There's still some space here. So if I find anything else I feel fits here, I'll add it in. Okay, so now we are left with more love. Let's see what we got here. We got some lips. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and add that in. Okay. Just add it in as I see it. I wanted my cakes and stuff to be here and then I wanted my fruit to be on the open side, right? So I'm trying to think about how it's gonna be in the binder. So I'm actually going to, I'm gonna leave this blank for now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this like this and then I'll probably just start these gold stickers on this backside of this sheet. And I'm gonna open up a new sheet here so that when I flip the page open, then it has, oops. So that when I flip the page open, right, then it has the fruit and the cupcakes, the sweets, pretty much all the edible stuff next to each other. So yeah, that's my thought process for that. So let's see here, we got some bananas, watermelon, cherries, strawberries and apples. So let's put these yellow ones here at the top and these down below. Okay, like that. Okay, cool. And if I have any other fruit themed items, I'll put them here. Any other uh, food or sweet themed items, I'll put them here. So yes, yeah, so when then I'll open the page up, it'll look like that. Okay, so that works for me. Now it's time to go through and sort these stickers here. I have a ton of these. So let's go through and see what we got, y'all. So this one here is Christmas themed. I do have this in another album, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep those together. I think this here, yeah, these are my Christmas themed um, stickers. And so, yeah, so here I have that sticker already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the duplicate one right next to it. Like so. And that's that. And then, this is a fruit item, so I am gonna put that on this sheet here with the food, or the fruit here. So I am gonna just go ahead and put that together. But I know I have two of these, so I'm gonna look for the other one right now. So this sticker here, I do have a duplicate of. I'm gonna actually take these out and put them with the colored butterfly thing ones. So here, let's see. Yeah, here I have butterflies. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these butterflies with that. Okay. 
these are more accents. I'm gonna take these out and put them with this. Oh, here the fruit is here. Okay, so let's take these out. I guess technically I could put this in the other album. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. And then I have fruit here and glasses here. I'm sure at some point I'll get another floral sticker, so I'll leave that open. Oh, actually, there's a floral sticker right here. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here because it makes sense to go with the flowers. Okay. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay, so that is that out of this album. Yeah. Oh wait, no, there's more, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take these out. These can actually go over there too. So I'm gonna take these out and put them over there. I don't know, it makes sense for those to just be sliding around in here. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and take this one out too. I mean, I think it works here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that out as well. Okay, so that is that. So this is my fruit one here. So I have strawberries right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my strawberries with this. Oops. And then the rest of these, I'm gonna sort separately. Here we ended with love, All right? So then I can start the back side of this with something else. I'm gonna save these for their own like two slots because these are just like frames and kind of like, these are just like kind of, I don't even know, like this stuff you can put on as like an accent, like straight like lines or curved or whatever. And it's a lot of these. So I'm gonna actually give these their own sheet front and back because I think there's enough for that. Um, here we have some bows, and let me see, I did have bows on another one here. Let's see what happened to my bows over here. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, right here I have bows, and there's bows on this one, so that fills this little slash slot perfectly. Look at that, love it. So that's that. So this whole front and back is now, no, I still have more butterflies. I don't know that I have any more butterflies. Oh yeah, I do actually. So let's look through here. So these are, I got some butterflies here. Here I have some butterflies and actually some random bugs. So that's perfect. So that will go here. This is working out just perfectly, you guys. I'm excited. Look at that. Yes, I love it, okay. So now, okay. So now this whole sheet, this whole sheet is full, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, let's see. This still missing too, this one's full, so I'm gonna leave it over here. This is empty on the back, so I'm gonna leave it over here. And then we have another one here that has a back that's empty. So, huh. Okay, so I have a few of these sheets full, like this one, for instance. I pretty much just organized this how I want it to go in my binder, so this blue sheet here so we have like flowers accents and butterflies here and the book is going to start off with full color then we have here um love themed and i wanted the love themed um stickers to be like right next to each other like this so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the album like this okay now that does kind of work what i have going on because over here is blank right but um 
yeah, we'll, I'll sort that out later. But for now, I got a random butterfly here. But for now, I'm liking, I want it to be, when I open it, it's all love themed. And over here, when I open it, I wanted it to be the fruit or edible stuff. So that's how this is gonna go here, okay? And then outside of that, I have now kind of like two blank pages, oops, of items where, um, don't mind this, I kind of ran out of the boards. But now we have like two blank items of where if I want something to face it, it can, which actually, probably these accent sheets here, yeah, these accent sheets here is probably gonna be how I fill up this this section of the book, right? Like this here, that's probably what these are all gonna go to. So that is this. Now, I do have, I guess I have these like random things back here. Let's see here. These are also kind of accents as well. So likely I'll end up sorting those if there's space with that. Oops. And then what else we got here? Let me actually just put those here. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the rest of these stickers like so. I'm gonna put the rest of these stickers, stickers just here so I can actually see them. <laughs> Um, okay, so those are stars. We have these embellishments, which I thought would make sense to put in this album. We have colorful here. Okay, so over here, I mentioned that these are colorful, so I was wanting to put more colorful items here. So because this is colorful, that is what I'm gonna start this one with. Okay. I think this is a water slide decal, you guys. Yeah, it is. It's a water slide decal. So I actually have different storage for water slide decals. This is actually where I store my water slide decals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up in here. Like so. Okay. Then, what else we got here? I got these diamonds here. Know what I want to do with these. What is this? I think these are stickers though. Yeah, these are stickers. And I don't know. Yeah. I do want these to go in here, but I kind of want them to have their own sheet. But for now, since I don't know where else I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna just throw them here. Oh, my stickers just popped off. Okay, so that works for me. We got that, that, and now here is where I wanna start this, and then at the end, whatever left over, that's what we'll put these at. I think I'm gonna just make a page for miscellaneous, which is where these items will go. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and start with this here. So I guess I'll start with it like right here. Oh, actually, yeah, let me go ahead and move these out the way. This will be my miscellaneous stickers here. And then here's gonna be where I do all of these. Okay, so. I am going to start with this side here. And I know that I have like some doubles, maybe even triples of items. So I'm just gonna kind of set them all out like this. So over here, I'm gonna do the stuff that kind of go up and down in like thin lines. And over here, I'm gonna do kind of the same. 
but if they're like thicker and have like different shapes and stuff on them I'll group them together so that's what I got here So we were at the home stretch here. My camera went dead while I was finishing this up, but this is how I have these sorted. And then now all I have is my miscellaneous, which is, which are these stickers here. I was debating about trying to put them up here, which this one I might do. Yeah, this one I'll put here actually, because I just want it here. <laughs> and then these, I'm going to put, actually I might be able to find some that I might want to put there. Like for instance, like this here, because it does have like some accent, like those, the strip, I might just go ahead and put those here, you know? So yeah, these I'm gonna go ahead and put right here because it makes to me it makes more sense to have them there. And then this last one here, this is what we have left. But this, um, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and start organizing them here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that perfect? That's the perfect fit. So I do have some stars. I think I want to make sure those are next to each other. y'all so this is how I have these tiny little square stickers organized and I'm loving this organization method because it allows for my collection to grow this at some point I will peel off of the front here and maybe put something cute on it but yeah this is what we have going on here so I started off with all the different colors of the little square stickers so here I have like kind of the floral slash accent of the blue yeah these blue stickers are really really pretty I really like these a lot okay and then more of the blue stickers here, but they're like more so butterfly themed. Here is kind of like a miscellaneous one. Um, these are my stickers that have like the rhinestones on it. I was so sad. So as I was organizing this, one of them popped off right here. So, and I, I couldn't find it. So that sucks because I didn't get a chance to wear it. And I had bought two of them so that I could do matching hands, but yeah, then that's not the equation. Um, so yeah, I have that here. And then we just have some gold zippers. Next, this is kind of like my love themed section. So we got like um, stuff that has like hearts and kisses and, and such. Over here is more so kind of like animal themed kind of love. And then next we have food items here. So these are like sweets, like cupcakes and such. Over here is just like bananas and strawberries. So yeah, these stickers are really cool. And then now I'm going into all of my gold stickers. These just have like all the accents. Um, meaning that like there's straight straight lines you can put the cuticle area have going straight up and down have going horizontal vertical diagonal so got those here and then at the end here there's kind of a little bit more miscellaneous stuff and then I have more sheets I think I have like maybe like 10 more sheets so yeah and this hasn't even gotten started yet I love this because there's so much room for growth with this and again small footprint so i can just store this upright and it takes up absolutely no space so yeah loving this option right now yeah that video ended up being a little bit longer than i thought so i think this is probably going to be um a video by itself if not you'll see a slice stand with my other sticker video but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial um if you all are curious about what i have on my hands here these are some press-ons that i did 
Uh, these are Dollar Tree press ons, you guys. So a dollar for this. Um, and I use the Mia Secret clear acrylic to adhere them. So if you all are curious about how that hack works, um, I'll leave the video linked in the description. And then my video does have a wear test in it to let you all know how long this lasts. I'm currently testing it right now, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but that video will have all the details in it. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you wanna see me organize next. I am loving getting my nail room together. I am gonna have an updated nail room tour because um, since my original tour, I have changed a lot of things around. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!